Hey everyone, Team Sorcerers here, and I'm here at Webber's Five's place. And I have a new play mat. Designed by me, for you. Yay. I'm, I'm hoping this angle will be okay. Still don't have a proper camera sorted out, so this will have to do for now. And if anyone needs a, if anyone needs a better view of the match, you can check it out on my channel as well. So in honour of Spooktober, we're doing a Halloween themed game, Summon Skull against Invoked Plunder Patrol. down and end my turn. Gee, I wonder if that's a super poly. Mmm. Oh, you can just about see my cards, okay? Shipyard. Mm -hmm. Next, I will normal summon Alistair. Yep. Effect. Sure. because I have a strong feeling I know what that back row is. <laughs> Bit. This is so difficult when you know that's a potential super pie. <laughs> Oh, 
That would have been a good move if I remembered that. <sighs> oh yeah, I've done my normal side. is hard. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. That's very plunder patrol ship shape ship shipping. Yeah. Which one was that one? This is the fusion card for a fiend monster. Okay. Fuse white white and red bed. Mm-hmm. Effective white bit to spec one from deck. Effective red beard, equip itself to lease. Okay. Chain blocking. And the and due to the effect. And due to the effect of white bit, I will be locked into special summoning plunder patrols for the rest of this turn. So good, good news for you, Rich, you don't have to worry about me summoning an invoked monster this turn. So I'll summon golden hair. Overlay. It's a Mohawk. Effect of ship shipping and grave. Banish it. Target. Oh, I do have to target for this. Target Moak. Target Moak and equip it either with an emblem of Plunder Patrol or a Plunder Patrol monster. Response. Mark with emblem of the Plunder Patrol. Okay, go to battle phase. Yep. E12. 
2500 Moak attacks into Scorpio. I activate Super Polymerization. Yep. Discard and command a few Scorpio with Moak. A lake. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Effect to gain the attack points of Lease. I can negate. I can negate this. Venom will destroy, and then destroy my thing. Only gains the attack points until the end of the turn, I believe. Yes. Then that is fine. <laughs> okay. Go to main phase two. Wait, why didn't I attack Cobra? No. Oh. Go to equip lease with emblem. Then pass turn. That would make things tricky. It's attack currently. Let's see. Shipyard's giving it a 1000 buff, and then Emblem gives it an additional 500, so it's on 35. <sighs> and Richie, before you think. And Richie, before you think about using Starving Venom's effect to target my monster to try and bait my effect, Emblem prevents the equipped monster from being targeted. Yeah, that I remember. <coughs> Monster reborn my Archfin Commander. Yep. And then Link Command and Cobra into Nightmare Phoenix. to try and destroy your uh, shipyard. Yeah. That drops at least to 2,500. Fantastic. Um, a battle fair. End of, still at end of main phase, Richie. Yes. Effective lease to special summon a plunder patrol from my hand or spell and trap zone. Okay. Summon Redbeard. Mm -hmm. So still in main phase. Okay. Um, still ends of my buff phase. Yes. Um, starving Venom will attack lease. Effective, effective Redbeard to tag it out into a plunder patrol that shares an attribute with a monster you control or is in your graveyard. Summon Brat and equip this card to it. Mm -hmm. Brat. While Bran is on the field, all other fiends gain 500 attack. Which puts Lee's back up to 3,000. 
Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't give itself a bonus. <laughs> that was it. But that was against Phoenix's attack. One in hand. And if you're paying attention, Rich, you know what the one in hand is. Awkward because I have forgotten. Um, oh, wait, no, it would be invocation, wouldn't it? Oh, okay, well, I don't really need to worry. Um, the starving venom will still go for these. <sighs> Crash it just to get rid of all my fear. Yep. Two hundred and effective venom to two. And then attack the Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't Phoenix try and attack into Red Bit? Oh. No, I was attempting at least three times to have Starving Venom attack at least. Ah. Uh, main two, set my last card, and end my turn. Sure. That is not a bad draw at all. Let's have some fun. Sure. <laughs> That's an invocation. Yeah. From my Grey God, banish Alistair the Invoker. And from your Grey God, Rich, I'm going to banish your, star your Starving Venom. Okay. He served me well. Invoked Orgades. The new one. Effect on special summon. Target a monster to my opponent controls and destroy it. So I'm going to destroy your nightmare phoenix. Okay. Invocation effect. Mm -hmm. Pay back the deck and Alistair to hand. But it's not going to stay in my hand because I still have my normal summon. So I'm going to normal Alistair and use effect to add invocation and save some time. Sure. Invocation again. Oh boy. Because the only once per turn clause on invocation is the effect to return it. Yeah. I banish out. I shall banish out to the invoker. And since you're in here, I'll banish Gizmet Kaku. I could have banished Nightmare Phoenix, but I kind of like it there. Fair enough. <laughs> Purgatrio. Who gains 200 attack breach monster you control? Yeah. <laughs> What's your life points, Rich? Uh, 7,800.
I'm just going to go for broke and see if I can wipe out everything now. Activate the second effective invoked orbities. I can banish a fusion monster from my grave. Once per turn, I can banish a fusion monster from my graveyard and it gains attack equal to that monster's banished attack until the end of your turn. So I'll banish least to give it a 2k buff. Okay, that's a lot. Battle phase. Yeah. Purgatory attacks into unknown and pierces. Yeah, this is very painful because it's there. 25 pierces. Effective heiress to add an all tune except herself. Yeah. I'm gonna add all tunes awakening and hope I hard draw advanced ritual art. What's your life points now, Red Shaft? 5300. This is a 4k. Yep. Wait, you say 53? 53, yes. Oh. So you'd leave me on 13. Which I should point out, even if you hard draw the advanced ritual art, it won't help you. Orgades' effect is, if it's special summoned, or a monster is special summoned to the opponent's field, I can target a monster my opponent controls and destroy it. Okay. Oh yeah, all the, oh yeah I forgot all the higher summoned skulls summon the original when they die. And not only that, an awakening can't be destroyed by monster effects, except a ritual monster. Um... So I'm okay with this. Alright then. <laughs> Pass turn to you, Richard. God. Advanced ritual art. Nope. Celestial Observatory? No, but maybe it'll. Uh. Actually. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just do it and see what happens. Tour guide. Yep. Special heiress. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I've got this, but let's go down fighting. Link. It's a nightmare Cerberus. Effects to pop. Four I can't eight. Orgades, or however you say it. Is. Yeah, just because I can. Effect of Orgades, because I'm wants to special summon to your field, I'll target your Cerberus and pop it. So I'll go in for mutual destruction. And yeah, you just win next turn. Oh, there's Celestial Observatory. thing I like with Dragon Shield sleeves is that you actually can't see through them unlike some kinds of Ultra Pro where you can. Oh yeah. <laughs> like these ones. Okay, rounds two uh, fight. Huh. Um we may be experiencing some deja vu. Summon Scorpio. Scorpio's effect. And everyone knows the drill. Cobra, Cobra's effect. I shouldn't have discarded Summon Skull, but oh well. Um, so I was going to do something different from last time, but I've done goofed. Let's search Super Poly. Summon Skull format this time. Um, but unlike last time, I'm gonna throw down three face downs. And three of them things? Three of them things. Your move. Yeah, I could have made that more interesting. Kick 
for terraforming. Sure. Activate shipyard. Yep. Effective shipyard. Yep. ID card. Let's <laughs> add white there. Uh -huh. And next time we're going to be doing a little draw. Let's do that. That's fine. Got the blue bed because he was sent from hand to almost sent to grave. Discard one as cost to draw one. Discard mm -hmm. white bed. Effect of white bed. <coughs> Spec plunder patrol from the deck, but I'm locked into plunder patrols for the turn. Birds of fed, I will summon out golden hair. Mm -hmm. Got him back in. I may not be able to special summon, but I can normal summon other things. Normal summon Alistair, Alistair's effect. Yeah. To Blackbeard. Yep. That's a back row. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ready to attack into three back row just yet, so I'm going to end my turn. Summon Commander. Uh, Commander's effect. Which is? Uh, if it's Tribute Summoned, um, 
I target a level 6 Archfiend in my grave and special summon it in defense. In this case, summon Skull. Then overlay them to exceed summon Archfiend's Ascent. Okay, I forget what this one does. If a summoned skull monster would be destroyed in any way, I can detach material from this card instead. Okay. I could have made a better rank 6, but I wanted to get this guy out. Um, okay, so I'll come to the end of main phase 1. End of main phase. Phase. Anything? I'm going to activate Pride of the Plunder Patrol. And I'm going to activate and I'm going to activate its effect. If I control a plunder patrol monster, I can send this face-up card from the field to the graveyard, then activate one of the two effects. Either my opponent draws a card, then I look at your hand and send a monster from it to the graveyard, or I can look at your extra deck and send a monster from it to the graveyard. So I'm going to activate the second effect to send Pride of the Plunder Patrol to scope your extra deck and get rid of a monster. Oh boy. Let's see. and lots of dark monsters. <laughs> ooh, light, ooh, ooh, light monsters. Yep. <laughs> uh, I shall send... Oh, those are all horrible rank sixes to keep in your extra deck. I don't want you to have any of them. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to hate the least. Which one's going to be more annoying? I'll send your photon strike bouncer to the graveyard simply because that can stop. Makes sense. Proceed. Um, oh, there's a battle phase. Yes. Uh, ascent will attack your captain. Effect the Blackbeard targeting itself. To attack? Tag out. Sure. And then I get to draw a card. Release. Mm, that's on 3k, isn't it? If I'm... 25. Right. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go for a replay and crash. Um. And then... Oh, right, it can detach to save itself. Yep. So I guess I made the right rank 6 choice. Um, and I probably should have set a fire attribute so I could have kept my monster. Hello. Um, that ends my turn. True. Now if I can get out the other upgrades, that'll be fantastic. But I don't see it happening in this match. We shall see. <laughs> Minutes doesn't feel like it. <sighs> oh, I wish you weren't so insistent on playing back row so much, Richie. <laughs> Surprised I 
still am in this fool, lad. See, this is the issue when you mix two good archetypes together, you get too many options of what you can do. <clears throat> okay, here's the first thing I'm going to do. Effective Shipyard. Sure. Discard XZ Slid Dolphin. Do add a Blood Patrol card. Cool. Chance, I'm good to go back in. Not so much a chance, I probably am. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do something a bit different. Was a re I knew there was a reason I put this engine in. Activate, inj activate invocation. Sure. <clears throat> Gonna go for something different. Banish Alistair, mm. and from hand, fuse Whitebeard. Ooh, okay. Because I forget invocation lets me do stuff with hand. Four. Boat Copter. The white bit because it was sent from hand to grave to special summon one from the deck. But then I'm locked into plunder patrols. But that's fine because invocation is my only method of summoning another monster. This turn is under control. That's fine. Activate Monster Reborn, target yeah. Plunder Patrol Ship Lease. Okay. Effective Golden Heron Grave. Discard a card to special summon herself. But like White Bait, it locks me into Plunder Patrols. Mm -hmm. Discard Red. So. Effective Red, equipped to Lease. Actually, wait, can you at least come back from grave? Because you summoned it off captain. No, I can't. Oh, yes. Ah, I haven't done my fusion card. Thank you, Richard. Uh, no problem. Uh, 
was just thinking, wait, can it? This that was case. just a little unsure there. In that case, I will go with Blackbeard, because that one I know I select properly. of your graveyard, affected Blackbeard target itself. Yep. Now I will do the effect of Golden Hair. Discarding Redbeard. Mm -hmm. Summon itself. Effect of Redbeard, equip itself to Lease. Yep. Okay, let's risk it for a biscuit. Effect of Bran. Yeah. Discard emblem. Target a back row and banish it. I'm hoping to Christ I pick the right one. that one. Fiendish Chain Bran. <sighs> no, I should have done that. No, I should have done that first. Okay. At least now I think I know what that one is. Okay. Go to battle phase. Yep. <clears throat> so Sen can protect itself from destruction by detaching one. Yes. <laughs> the three K lease will attack Archfiend Ascent for five hundred. Two hundred shots in my spell and trap zone, and because of Bran, I'm not gaining any points. Um. Yeah, let's just use it. Storming Mirror Force. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Cocktails attacks and Tartrians are sent for 400. Those cocked. Oh no, wait. 
It uses yeah, I was it. gonna say. No, I don't. <laughs> don't do. <laughs> okay. Uh, main face stick. Sure. <clears throat> now I will do this. Effective invocation. Mm -hmm. Put itself back in the deck to add this to my hand. Again, I could have attacked the Cobra. Why didn't I? <sighs> Losing the plot. That's cool. Plus 10 to you, Richie. Some sort of cards to get over Cocytus. I might have to. Stalking an infusion dragon and gain the attack points of Cocytus. 18. Then I will banish three fiends from my grave, awakening commander and ascent to Dark. bring out Dark Necrofear. Um, the other thing is Starving Venom attacks over Cocytus. Attack her. So you get um, 18, so. 46. Yeah, I can't believe. Attack directly with Dark Necrofear. Oh! I take the 22. That's the first damage that's been done this whole duel. And of course, I end my turn. Okay. But I've got nothing in hand, nothing to respond with. That would be that would be such a good draw if you had summoned Starving Venom somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> oh wait, I can still make this work. Somewhere else. Wait. Yeah, I can make. Oh yeah, I can make this work. Let's do this. Leroy. Normal Alistair. Yeah. Richie, remind me again. I'm pretty sure Dark Necrophir has an effect in the grave. Or when it's destroyed. Something like that. Yes, uh, if it's in my graveyard because it was destroyed in the monster zone by any way that you do it, I target one of your monsters, equip it, and take control of it. <clears throat> so basically, it's a snatch steal when it dies. But only in the end phase, though. Or just in the end phase? Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, during the end phase. Okay. Location. Chance I'm probably going to. Chance I might be going back into it. I also get to activate Dog Sanctuary right away. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, I was watching that episode the other day.
Invocation. Yeah. Assuming I still have it. Oh, wait. Ooh. I've got a better idea. Banish Alistair. Orbities. Okay. Wait, thank you. Something there. Fed. If it's special summoned, I can target. I can target most of my voting controls and destroy it. I'm going to destroy your necrophere. Okay. I'll take the risk of its effect in the end phase if we get to that point. Knock. <laughs> okay. Hence, since I'm not, since I'm not currently locked to any effect. Uh, well, I'm going to do so. Invocation's effect. Mm -hmm. Just while I remember that I'm not locked under anything. Why do I keep forgetting what I was planning on doing? Right, this is what I'm going to do. Effect of Golden Hair and Grave? Sure. Discard a card to, discard a card to summon herself. Uh -huh. to discard. No, I didn't want to do that yet because I've got something else I want to do. Do you mind, Richie? Because I haven't discarded. Go for it. <laughs> right. The reason. I, right. The reason I wanted all of these. Because there's a monster in the extra monster zone. Special Gizmet Kaku. Oh, okay. Now I will do it. Now I'll do gold on there. Discarding Alistair to special summon herself. Oh, what's the effect of stag again? If a monster's in the extra monster and I can special up from my hand, I can target a face-up monster in the extra monster and equip that face-up monster to this card, maximum of one. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon one of the monsters equipped to this card. Oh. It's a very fun card to use against Boral Sword. Unfortunately, naturally, if you do it against a Boral Sword, the first thing your opponent's going to do is put Stag in defense mode so it can't destroy anything. Next, equip Golden Hair with Emblem. Okay. Effective em Second effective Emblem. Do you know what this one is, Rich? All I remember is the targeting immunity. Okay. Oh okay, yeah, and some 500 buff. <laughs> yeah. So, so the standard effect is the equipped monster gains 500 and it can't be targeted by, and my opponent can't target the card effect. The second effect is I can send this equipped card to the graveyard to special summon a plunder patrol from my extra deck with the same attribute as a monster on the field or the graveyard, then take the monster that was equipped to it and equip it to it. Uh oh. So I'll send it. Yep. Summon Moak. Oh no, I see where this is going. At least I'm pretty sure I do. Effect of XZ slid dolphin in graveyard. Because an XZ's monster was special summoned to my field, while this was in my graveyard, I can attach it to that monster as an XZ's material. Oh, lovely. What 
What's your life points, Reggie? I haven't been touched yet. Oh. I need to change that. I need to change that. Oh, and as an added bonus from the effect of Emblem, the equipped monster also gains the effect that it gives the monster 500 attack points. Yeah, that bit I remember. It's difficult to remember what they all do. Yeah. Okay, effect of Moak. Discard, target star, and venom, and banish it. it. Then I can add a plunder patrol spell trap from there. And I'll take plunder patrol booty. And then effect of red bid because it was sent my hand's grave, but I can equip it to a plunder patrol. This is the part I hope enough attack. Now this is the part where I hope I have enough attack points. Otherwise, that Griffin is going to do some damage to me. <laughs> okay, so we've got battle face. Yes. Wait. <clears throat> nope. Not yet. End of main. Still in main phase. Organize. Banish leads to gain its 2k until the end of the turn. And that should be game. Yeah, it should be enough. 4k 2750 25 Oh yeah, that definitely would be enough then 25 Yeah Would it have been, would it have been enough if I didn't have the 2k boost? Um, let's find out actually So that was 2750, yeah? Twenty-seven. Take the 2 5 off that actually, just to make this simpler. So 2 5, 5,250. No, it wouldn't have been. You would have been, you would have been left with 250 points. <laughs> oh my god. What, was it? what would I have even taken? Probably the gizmo. <laughs> I don't know. 